Hello again. I wanted to talk to you today about fitting in. Here we see Bree trying on a new pair of pants that she's recently acquired and she's learning, as we so often do, that it isn't always easy to fit in. How many times has this happened to you? You've just finished working on something creative and you're so proud of how it turned out. You really feel like you've done something special this time. Maybe you've even surprised yourself with the results and just for a moment you start to think, hey, I might actually be good at this. You're so happy with the work that you want to share it with everyone in your life right away. Maybe you show it to your friends. You post it on social media. You even, possibly, tell your family about it. Then, crickets chirping. Eventually, you get maybe three likes or somebody comments, Cool. If you're anything like me, you feel devastated. I mean, didn't they see the masterful rendering of that fox girl's ear fur? Can't they appreciate the work you put into crafting an entire fantasy world just for your broody teenage character to come of age in? What about that sick beat on the track you just dropped that's got like two plays on SoundCloud? I thought these people cared about me, you think. I thought they were my friends. But that's just it. They are your friends, they just aren't your audience. Building an audience takes time, and in all likelihood, your biggest fans will be people that you will never meet in real life. And if you ever do get a chance to meet them, I hope that you will remember what it was like to be somebody else's fan. I want to tell you a story, two stories really, that serve to illustrate my point. You see, I used to go to Gen Con as an artist back in the day, trying to break into the game industry, because that was how it was done then. Sometimes I'd exhibit some of my work in the art show, sometimes I'd just carry around my portfolio in hopes of getting someone to look at it. I was also an avid gamer, and I was really into Magic the Gathering for a while. I remember there was one artist whose work I really admired, and he was signing cards at the Wizards of the Coast booth one year. I stood in line with all the other people hoping for a chance to get him to sign one of my cards that he'd done the art for, but mainly just for a chance to tell him how amazing I thought his artwork was. Eventually, I get to the front of the line, and I'm about to speak to the artist, but just then, one of his colleagues steps up to deliver a message to him. They start talking, and the conversation lasts for a while. I stand there patiently, just happy to be there, eavesdropping on these two industry professionals doing the kind of thing that I wished I was doing. Eventually, the visitor starts to feel a bit awkward, and he glances over at the long line of people standing behind me. I didn't mean to interrupt, he says. These people are all waiting to see you. The artist glances over at me and shrugs. So, he says, they'll wait. I have to admit that my opinion of the man's art was somewhat negatively affected by that little exchange. On the other hand, I remember the time that I met Keith Parkinson at Gen Con. This guy was one of the original old school painters that did a ton of artwork for Dungeons and Dragons, back when it was first blowing up into a global phenomenon. The guy was an amazing artist who was known not only for his incredibly detailed fantasy landscapes, but solid character work as well. He was my favorite of the original crew of artists whose work helped shape the imaginations of a whole generation of gamers. I remember meeting him and just going all fanboy over his work. I certainly did not have the courage to show him my portfolio at the time, but when he saw my artist badge, Keith told me to whip out the portfolio and show him what I got. I was super nervous to have a legend like that looking at my artwork. I mean, it was pretty bad, but he was really nice about it. When he saw that I had been trying my hand at some digital pieces, he started talking to me about working in Photoshop. I mean, Keith Parkinson was a master painter, like paint on canvas kind of painter, but here he was just talking shop with me about the latest updates in Photoshop. He treated me like a fellow artist, and maybe for the first time in my life, I felt like I belonged to something bigger than myself. 
felt like I was part of a tribe. And that's what I want you to know. That your tribe is out there. It's huge and it's getting bigger every day. And as a member of that tribe, I'm calling on you to be nice to each other. Because we're the only ones who can really understand what we're all going through. Please resist the urge to jump on Twitter and scream at that artist who drew your favorite character wrong. We all make mistakes and we're all just faking it till we make it as best we can. I know some of us can come across as real asshats at times, especially online, where you can't read the subtle facial expressions or tone of voice that might tell others that we really didn't mean to offend anyone. But then again, there are people who will tell you that you should be offensive, that it will grow your audience faster because the fabled algorithm loves a good argument. Please don't do that. It's poison to your soul and your career. Remember that magic card artist guy I was telling you about earlier? Well, no one else does. He didn't last very long, and his only legacy in the industry is whatever resale value his out-of-print cards still have to collectors. Keith Parkinson, on the other hand, is remembered as a genuinely good guy who took the time to help out so many people along the way. I want to be more like him, and I hope you do too. You have a family out there, most of whom you've never met. Try to look out for each other. Try to give each other the benefit of the doubt, instead of jumping to conclusions and getting angry. Try to help each other when you can, and don't be afraid to ask for help because maybe you don't feel like you really belong, or because you don't think you meet the standards of being one of us. We may all be at different stages in the path, but we're all walking it together. So try to look out for each other when you can. And don't take it too hard when Cousin Annabelle doesn't appreciate the artistic merit of fine elven butt cheeks. Stay safe, y'all.